I'm delighted to receive the Image Lifetime Achievement Award 2023. I'm really sorry uh, not to be able to be there in person as I had intended, but I know you understand that I have to be in my hometown of Ballina to receive and welcome back President Joe Biden, who also has a strong connection uh, with uh, Ballina. A Lifetime Achievement Award is a reminder of all the people who have supported me throughout my life. I feel I stand on their shoulders with great gratitude. And you may remember that I did particularly thank Manon Heron, who, instead of rocking the cradle, rocked the system. And I've been very interested in women's leadership all my life. I I have to say that my main work at the moment is as chair of the elders, and we're concerned about three existential threats, the climate and biodiversity crisis, the nuclear crisis, and the pandemic crisis. But I'm also an active member of at least three women leaders networks. Uh, the first one is Fearless Women, uh, the Fearless Women's Network, which is business women. And in fact, we're linked to the B team of business leaders uh, who are giving leadership on the climate crisis. Another one is that I co-host with Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, the Women Leaders Network of the Africa Europe Foundation. And uh, we bring African and European women leaders together to address a lot of issues, including access to energy um, for the 600 million in Africa who never switched the switch for electricity and the 900 million who still cook on dirty cooking. And then the third one is the Connected Women Leaders. And that's the one I want to particularly focus on because Connected Women Leaders are women in the media. And they have realized that we don't understand the extent to which there is a climate and biodiversity crisis because actually it's a communications crisis. We don't feel that we're in a crisis, but actually the scientists tell us that this is a very real crisis. And so we have decided to launch a women's uh, Earthshot initiative, which we're calling Project Dandelion. And we're saying we have seven years to change course and that will bring us to 2030. So why Project Dandelion? you might ask. Uh, we've learned that the dandelion is the only flower stroke weed that grows on all seven continents. It's very resilient. You know that if you try to get rid of it, which we often do. Uh, it's also used by some farmers to be regenerative in the soil and poets write about it. But the most important thing is how do you spread it? How do you spread the seed? You just blow. Children love to blow the dandelion seeds and it spreads. So this seemed to us a very good symbol or metaphor for uh, a feminist approach um, to uh, the kind of moonshot idea that President Kennedy had of putting a man on the moon and it took him eight years. But well, we've decided we have seven years. Seven years to do what? The climate scientists, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, have issued a number of reports, one very recently called a synthesis report, in which they have repeated to us that we have to reduce our emissions by 2030 in order to have um, a net zero emissions by 2050 if we are to have a livable world. They warn us that we mustn't go above 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's the, that's the goal. And uh, they say that because they advise that between 1.5 and 2 degrees Celsius, very shocking things would happen. The coral reefs would probably completely disappear. The Arctic ice might go, and also the permafrost might melt. So it's really serious. And believe it or not, if all the current pledges of governments and corporations and investment were to be implemented fully, we're still on course for a much worse than 1.5 degree world. It's calculated probably a 2.4 degree world. So in other words, we're heading for catastrophe, but we're on the cusp 
of a clean energy world. And that's what excites women leaders. So I want you Irish businesswomen to give this kind of leadership and to realize that we are in a crisis and to take it personally and to know how you can reduce your own emissions in your business and in your home and also in your supply chain, if that's relevant. And I want you know, women to be leaders in the family, in the community, in the county or in every county in Ireland, women at the political level as much as we can, um, women artists, women designers, women farmers. Um, I can't tell you how much I want women to take the climate crisis personally in our lives and give that leadership. And I want you to watch out for Project Dandelion during this year, because we'll be launching soft launches and big launches. And then gradually over the next seven years, I hope it will become a global um, idea. And so that's my message. It's from the heart. It's a very real message. I really, really want you to step up now as women leaders and understand we have to have a safe future for our children and grandchildren, for our nieces and nephews, for their future. So thank you for this very special award. And uh, I'm so happy that the evening will also benefit UNICEF in its great work around the world. So Gera Mila Mahagiv Galera.